Hey, gun people! <laughs> Freaking liberalism, man. I swear it's a mental disorder. <laughs> this woman is crying because she had wet feces diarrhea poured on her. Rick, that's horrible. Well, she's a liberal. She voted for this. She elects people that think this is a... She elects and continues to vote for people that want to take your guns so you can't defend yourself. They want to okay homelessness. They don't arrest people. They arrest people and let them back on the streets. And then she'll be out there protesting that we need more guns seized because it'll make her safer. This isn't a gun issue. It's a liberal issue. This isn't a homeless. This isn't a throwing diarrhea on your face issue. This is a liberal issue. They don't have standards. They don't want to hold people accountable. They want to tell you who to blame. They want to spend your money. They want to take more of your money. They want to put up more freaking signs. If the homeless problem is such a problem, why don't they deal with it like they do with guns? We'll take your guns and then we'll put up no gun signs and you'll be safe. Why don't they just put up no homeless signs and tell this lady you'll be safe? Nobody will throw poo-poo on you anymore because we have a no homeless sign here. It's just freaking outrageous that people believe this crap. Away from the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a horrifying random attack. A homeless man dumped a bucket of stuff on your head. A bucket of his diarrhea. I didn't want it to be in my mouth, but it was running down my eyes. Uh, when you go to the polls and vote for liberals, you should remember this moment. For over a year, the NBC4i team has been tracking crimes where the suspects are homeless. Tonight, we have learned those incidents are skyrocketing. Investigative reporter Joel Grover reports on the growing threat linked to the untreated mental illness and drug addiction on L.A.'s streets of shame. Keep your eye on the woman walking out of this apartment building. A homeless man approaches and suddenly smacks. You want to bet she doesn't vote liberal? He probably votes liberal, she votes liberal, and they're shocked this happened. They voted liberal DAN who says, I'm not going to prosecute crime. I'm not going to prosecute people just because they're homeless. I'm not going to allow cops to enforce homeless regulations because it's mean. I'm going to make our city a sanctuary city for homelessness and illegals. And then when this happens, they're all shocked and crying on the news her in the head. There are now thousands of crimes a year like this one in which the suspects are homeless and in many cases suffering from mental illness or substance abuse. It's so traumatic. <laughs> Sorry. Heidi Van Tassel was walking to her car near Hollywood's Walk of Fame when according to Hollywood, Walk of Fame, places where the stars, wonderful, lots of money, lots of liberal money, Money can fix everything. None of these liberals are trying to fix the homeless problem, are they? No. And it's funny how homeless issues only seem to be in the news when there's a Republican president. When Obama was in office, I didn't see any news media about homeless problems. It suddenly went away. It's amazing. There was no homeless problem during Obama. Why is that, Rick? That's because you got a freaking bunch of idiots believing that the media is actually reporting the news and not just covering for the left. To police and court records, a transient with schizophrenia and psychotic disorders dumped feces all over her. A bucket of his diarrhea, it was liquid, hot liquid. Uh, I think that's kind of like the definition of diarrhea is liquid, but thanks for the update, Miss Liberal Voter. I was soaked and I couldn't see it was coming off of my eyelashes into my eyes. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital and she now needs to be tested for infectious diseases every three months. It's something I won't ever forget. It was, I mean, it was disgusting. For over a year, the I-Team has been reporting on crimes where the suspects are homeless, like this guy arrested for setting fire to chairs at a downtown steakhouse. And this homeless man pushing someone in front of a truck. There were more than 6,000 of these reported crimes in LA in oh, 17, 6,000. Oh, Rick. But sanctuary cities are good and we care about people and we can't be mean to homeless. And there's all kind of, and if we just had more money and more signs and we took more guns away, crime would go down. Can anybody decipher between the number of lies the media and the left sells?
2017. By the end of 2018, the number of crimes was up more than 50 percent. And now we've learned the numbers are on track to climb even higher this year. Shocker. Who could predict crime raises in liberal environments, in liberal run environments, in environments where liberals make sanctuary cities, have 14 bathrooms, and elect liberals, somehow crime rises. How could that happen? Oh, I forgot. It's the Russians, and it's Trump, and Epstein didn't kill himself. We found case after case where the suspects suffer from mental illness or methamphetamine abuse. Meth use has been linked to violence, and so is untreated mental illness. How could you live in this kind of environment and be okay? You mean right? mentally okay? All the liberals live in that environment, and they're okay, but they're voting liberal. Oh, maybe he's right. How could you be sane and vote liberal? Mentally okay. Reverend Andy Bales runs the Union Rescue Mission. Does life on the streets lead to violent behavior? Absolutely. Like the attack on that woman on a downtown L.A. Oh, yeah. That's because he lives on a street. He didn't do that for any reason. That's, that's, you know what, young lady? Go vote liberal again. Let, let me stand in the box and give you a flower and a hug after you cast your ballot for liberal cesspool cities. Street, keep watching. Just seconds later, the man punched another victim, attorney Brandon Cohen. Were you kind of in shock when it happened? What was shocking was that I lived here for four years and it didn't happen sooner. We found the homeless who- Anybody want to vet he boats left? That he's a liberal? Well, when I first saw it, I was like, I bet you he's a damn liberal. And no longer two minutes later, he's out here talking about it's not the person's fault that hit him. Who are arrested for these crimes are often right back on the streets without getting any treatment or help. I am always on the lookout. We discovered that Brandon Cohen's attacker, Charles Fuller, well, obviously not that day because you got slapped in the head. Fuller had four previous felony convictions. But after he attacked. So the guy that hit him and hit this woman, four felonies. I'm kind of shocked. I bet you he has 37 misdemeanors or that were pled down to misdemeanor. He's a four-time felon on the streets. Rick, why don't we just put aside no felons and no child molesters and no homeless and no crime and no drugs? No, no, Rick. That only works with guns. When we put gun safe zones, that's the only time signs work. That's because you're a freaking idiot. Act Cohen, the cops simply gave him a citation for battery and let him go. Four months. Four-time felony. Hit somebody unprovoked, hits multiple people, he gets a traffic ticket for battery. Guess what? The liberal left-wing district attorney will say, we ain't prosecuting. We're dismissing in the interest of justice. Have a nice day, you idiots that keep voting for liberalism. It's later, a block away, a similar attack against this mother and daughter. Though the police... Yeah, both of them probably voting left because the liberal party wouldn't exist without women. Oh, running around loving and hugging and we need more taxes and those mean guns are scary more liberal left ignorance that's good i love it when the left have to live in their own filth environments didn't make an arrest so the suspect wasn't identified they need treatment for be it drugs or mental illness no. there he is he gets hit in the head and he's calling for treatment really that's what you call a victim wandering around waiting for a place to happen i bet you if that dude took his box of donuts he wouldn't be saying he's a victim and he needs help. He'd be jumping on him and sitting on him. Nobody it. Like Jose Rio Frio, who made headlines in New York for stalking a TV anchor. He moved to L.A., where he was convicted of threatening to kill a security guard. Last May, he wandered away from this psychiatric facility and has since been on the LAPD's missing person. Okay, this is government at its best, people. He's a missing person for LAPD, the greatest police department ever. They're all heroes. They only hire the best. Wonderful police agency run by the government for the government for the express permission of the government to crap on citizens. LAPD, missing persons. Ooh, man. Hope they can find him. They got all these neat gadgets, new military vehicles, fancy night vision equipment. They'll be able to track this guy down in two seconds flat.
Jones list, but the I team found him hiding in plain sight, sitting day after day, I'm not married. yelling at people ah. from this Hollywood. The guy's on the missing person list from a psychiatric hospital, sits on a bench day after day. The news media videotapes him. LAPD find us, can't find him. Shocking. But if we give our guns to government, they'll protect us. Just keep repeating that. Idiots. Bus bench. Right now, you're still suffering from mental health issues. Yeah, sure. It was awful. <laughs> I voted for liberalism and I got poop poured on me and I don't understand why. <laughs> oh, you freaking idiot. And it changed my life. Heidi Van Tassel says she's experiencing PTSD from that attack. Oh. The left will always find a way to get money for their crisis. They create a cesspool, they get poo poo thrown on them, they have money for tattoos, and now she has PTSD. Ooh, we'll give her a disability, and the left wing will say, oh, she's a victim, and next thing she'll be pregnant, she'll be a single mom, and we'll have to give her more money, and, and we'll vote more liberals, and liberalism will save the day and keep you safe. What the hell? How can people be so stupid? Back seven months ago. It's changed the way I feel walking on the street. Court records show. Oh, we heard the word feeling. That's how liberals live. It's all about feelings. It's not about actions and consequences and holding people responsible. It's all about feelings. I feel warm with the poo poo dripping down my face. Show her attacker was charged with battery and taken to jail. He doesn't need jail time. He needs mental health care. <laughs> he doesn't need jail time. He, need, he needs the poo-poo in the streets and pour it on me. He doesn't need jail time. But I have PTSD and I want free money because I'm voting for liberals. Man, this 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 whole report just drove me nuts. Here, I have empathy for him because he needs help. Heidi's attacker was found mentally incompetent to stand trial and prosecutors tell the I-team he's now back on the street. Perfect. So you can be homeless, you can have prior felony convictions, you can assault people, you can pour diarrhea all over them. And the liberal left says, sorry, he can't stand trial. We'll just have to let him back on the streets. But if you give us your guns, good people, we'll protect you because we're the government and we're here to help. Out freaking rageous. People that re rely on the government for protection and then can see this and somehow justify it, call me the bad guy because I'm calling it out, whatever. Wake the hell up, people. Well, in that there.